You're filming right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm filming. Oh. All right. Well, today, what we got here is one of those salesman sample LG Wave Force washers. The LEDs are broken because I happened to hook the wrong power supply up to it and burned them up. So today, we're going to show you how to uh, take it apart and replace them. First, what you got to do is t tip it over. You see, there's three screws here. And then there's four little ones up in the corners. So what you do is you start out by pulling the four out up here, around the edge. Okay, now I got those loosened. We're gonna take these three out here. Okay, now we got those out. I'm just gonna get the screws out. So after we got the screws out, we gotta pull this the front cover off. And you see this, we got this little switch under here. We got this wire, wiring harness to unhook. So what you do is you got this little little tab right here. You just push down on that, and then pull. It comes right off. So take that, we'll put that aside. Now, this, this is kind of an important part. You gotta remember how this is positioned in the machine, because it makes it put back together a lot easier. So right now, the way we got it sitting on its back right now, so the motor is pointed up here. You'll just have to remember that later. So to get this out, we just gotta slide this, these out, the drain plug and the uh, wire uh, wire connector, and grab the entire, um, I guess, tub, just kind of gently wiggle it, and then it pulls out a little bit. Now you don't wanna pull it all the way because you got wires still hooking it in. So what we're gonna have to do is there's yet some connections inside here that you gotta get to. So we got this yellow and black one inside here. So that one, we gotta unhook that, same way as the other one. It's really difficult. I'm putting it down. Okay. And once you get that unhooked, you can kind of pull the entire unit out. You can see this um, other one in here, you gotta undo, hook to the motor. Where is it? There it is. Just pull that. You got the whole unit out. So we'll just take the shell and we'll put that aside, away from the microphone. Yeah. So up on top, this is this is what's inside of it. So you got this, this gasket, rubber gasket up here. You don't have to pull that off. I just happened to just now. And um, up up in up inside this area is where the the LED light is. So you got all these screws you have to remove around here. And start taking those out. Oh, one thing I should have mentioned too is, um, you see where this, this slot's at? Try to keep and uh, remember where that is positioned um, in relation to the motor, because you have to, the wiring uh, connector is short and it has to line up in the same spot. Just make it easier to put back together. So take, continue taking these screws out. Okay, so we just grab this, and the whole ring comes off. So this before I've, um, I've actually, before the video, uh, replaced it already, so you can kind of see the new one in there, but. So you got the, the, the upper part, it's, it uh, consists of, they got this uh, gray plastic piece, and you have this clear plastic part. So you gotta separate them. There's a gasket in there, so it's a little bit tight, so you gotta kind of pull it apart. So you pull it apart, and you got this plastic piece with this ring in there, and this little slot right here is for the wires and the LEDs. The slot, it's uh, where the wires can, so they can pass through. Oh, okay. I see. And you gotta, when you put it back together, you line that up with this slot. But, um, gotcha. so the, the LEDs I found, I found them on eBay. They're um, 115 millimeter um, uh, LED rings. They use them for, um, I guess people put them on their headlights or something like that. Well, um, so I got one of those. Now, the one thing I had to do was what, I had to take the um, original um, LED ring and um, pull, I had to um, take my soldering iron, soldering iron and remove the leads from the, uh, that came with this ring. And I soldered the original connector back onto the new ring so it would uh, hook up easier. So to uh, kind of put it back together, you take the gray section and you take your LED ring and you just put it inside of here you don't need any glue or anything. Just got to make sure the uh, wires go through this gray slot here. 
So then, oops, then you take the, the, the clear plastic part and you line that, that slot that's milled out there. You line that up with the, the gray slot on the, 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 the slot on the gray ring. You just take them and you just press them together. Make sure it's lined up. So now you see you got the ring installed inside here. So now that you got that, you're actually ready to start putting it back together. So, you take this and you remember how it went back together, like I told you to. This is important, so you don't do what I just did. And <laughs> we'll figure this out. Okay. <laughs> so, it goes that way. Where is it? All right, there's the connector there, so it goes this way. I should have marked it when I took it apart with like a Sharpie marker or something, just put a line. But I just happened to forget that. So now I gotta get the screwdriver off the floor. And <laughs> now we just put the screws back in. You just kind of be careful getting them started in there because it is plastic and it is possible to uh, cross thread the holes. You just want to be real gentle with it. Don't force it if it doesn't go in. You just kind of take them and you just kind of just barely snug them up. So as I'm putting these screws in there, I'm just I'm just putting them in there. I'm not tightening them down yet. I'm just screwing them in until they just get uh, just barely touch the plastic. And the reason behind I'm doing that is you gotta once you get all these in there, you're gonna have to tighten it down, kind of like you would a tire, because so you kind of do the star pattern. That way you evenly. Uh, put the force on there and you don't end up like getting it all cockeyed or warped or something like that Okay, so you got the last screw in so now I'm gonna start tightening them up Kind of like what I was talking about I just kind of go directly across like you would like you've tightened it and tighten a tire down I'm Just kind of going like the star pattern Just doing it like directly uh, across from each other because I don't want to like put all the weight on one side, the force on one side and have it tip all the way up. I want it to go down as flat and even as possible. All right. So now that we got that back in together, now we can put the uh, gasket, the rubber gasket back on. Here's a little easier way to do it because the gasket is, it's kind of a pain to get this thing back together with the, because of that. So one way I found is you can take the gasket and you, you push it into this ring right here. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna try to get the, cause you, you put this uh, upper like, lip in there. This upper lap, lip goes into this uh, slot inside of up here, up here. Okay, so now we're ready to put the, uh, wa the washer back together. Okay. okay, anyway, so like what I was saying before, we had it like this with the motor up in the uh, upper left corner. So what we're gonna do, since we gotta hook this wire connector up, so we're gonna hook that up first. So that's gonna be the thing that's gonna cause us the most, one of the problems when we try to put it back together. So we take that, get the wires all out of the way. Actually, no. I'm gonna hook the motor one up first. That's right, okay. So we hook the motor wire up to that little connector that's up inside there. Is it true you murdered that mouse? Okay, there we go. Make sure it snaps in, and it did. So now we're gonna take this and put it back in. So. Now it's that, it's a little tricky to get in there, but you gotta kind of angle it, make sure you don't pull on the wires and break them. So that's the last thing you want to do is break the wires, because then you got more work for you. Can't see it because it's so tight in here, but I'm hooking the wire back in. I ask you for tweezers, but then I'd have to use the mouse tweezers, and I don't want to use those. The mouse tweezers? The snake tweezers. I almost got it. No, I said I don't want to. <laughs> well, yeah, you said it. Now they're not gonna know what you're talking about. There we go. 
You should just leave your little like commentary or responses to my <laughs> answers. <laughs> okay, now we got that in there. We gotta get the uh, kind of. You gotta. We gotta seat the gray plastic piece into the gasket itself. So what you gotta do is you get, since you gotta make sure you got this set up where it was where it was when you took it apart. Because that'll make it putting back together a lot easier. So then you kind of line it up. And you, you press press down. You hold the bottom of this. Don't don't push on the pulley. Push on the uh, gray plastic piece. So kind of put your fingers around here and kind of push on here. And then push push down until you feel it kind of seat in there. Okay. So after you get that in there, you kind of want to, okay. So it's gonna want to fall out, so you want to take your hand and put it just under that gray lip in there and kind of hold up here. That way it doesn't fall out on you while you try to put the bottom on. So, now that we got that, we're gonna take these uh, electrical connectors and we're gonna slide those back in. Just, okay. Goes there, we take the drain hose, and we just put it back in its slot right there. So now we got that, we take the bottom, we're gonna put that back on. First thing, you take that wire connector and you just, for the switch down there, and you just still hook, you just hook it back up. Just snaps right back together. So you take the bottom and you need to carefully place it on. Something's sticking. bottom just didn't want to go on so I kind of had to carefully persuade it to go on. So you got to kind of hold the bottom on there to make sure it doesn't fall off and then you put these the big screws in first. Just kind of really did they not line up? Okay then you make sure it lines up because this is why it was important. These, these holes are at a weird angle and all that so So what I'm doing is I'm looking through these holes, trying to make see the screw holes line up. So it looks like I got one of them right here lined up. So I'm going to take this screw and I'm going to carefully thread it in. Now, if you feel any resistance, just kind of take the screw out and keep trying to put it in there until you can just get it to screw in. Because if you feel resistance, it's not threaded there right. If you strip that out, you're going to have problems later. So you take those. You don't want to tighten them up fully yet because you, you won't, it still needs to be able to move around a little bit. You just want to take them, the screw, and you just, just turn it until it just barely, um, like, like you can't, you don't like torque it down, but you just take it until it just kind of snugs up a little bit. Then you take the other screws and do the same thing. Gasket popped out. This is why I said it's such a pain that never really meant to come apart, I guess. So. Okay. Almost there. Okay, there we go. put the last four screws in. What I always do is I just kind of get them started. I always just turn the screw backwards a little bit until you kind of feel it catch and then you can start screwing it in. I don't know, just something I've always done to help 
try to prevent getting the uh, thread stripped out. Now, now what I do with this is since he got all that, that pressure from that rubber gasket, I try to put the two corner, uh, di uh, corners in first. I'm just doing the same as I did the other one. Or I just bring them in until they get snug. So we got the, the last four screws in. So now we're gonna go through and we're gonna make sure they're all tight. So I start out with the, the ones on the corners. Got those tight. So now we're gonna do the three in the middle. Just kind of just do. You don't want to over tighten them because you'll strip the screws out. Just kind of want to just just so they get kind of you know, just kind of snugged up. You don't want to force them. Which is why I'm doing it with a small screwdriver. You want to use a small screwdriver. You don't want to use a drill or anything because you it's just plastic with metal screws in there and they'll completely strip them out. Once you do that, you really have no way to fix it. Or there are ways, but it's kind of it, it's kind of difficult. All right, so now we got it all back together. So now it's time to uh, fill it up with some water, plug it in, and go for a test drive. So we got it all put back together. So now we got to fill it up with some water and see how it works. So yeah, if you're watching this video. I'm pretty sure you know how to fill one of these, but if you don't, you got these maximum and minimum lines. You just kind of want to fill it up to the middle of that. So I'll just pour some water in. It would appear that I need some more. I'll be back. All right, so now that we got it filled up with water, we're ready to plug it in. I don't have the original power cord, but I have something that works similar. Just runs on 12 volts, but just hook it up and so I can see the new lights work. I can't remember because of the I only saw the LEDs and like the original ones work once, but I'm pretty sure this is a lot brighter. I mean, it's almost blinding to look into it, but. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of see how it works. We can put the lid down and hit start. Hey, you wanna film with the lid open? Sure. I can override it, so. Packages. And there you go. That's that's how you replace the lights in one of these um, sales sample LG uh, washers.